Another garden update. Um, I actually shot one earlier before the rain started, but it got too windy and uh, couldn't really hear much. So, giving another shot here. Um, I've had just enough rain to kind of get things damp. If even that, it's not even damp underneath underneath the bean plants here, so it hasn't amounted to much yet. But hopefully, it's going to keep continuing because we really need the rain. Um, there's the little one, by the way. She's uh, gained a little weight. Still kind of bony, but starting to put some muscle, some muscle mass back on. I think. Got to follow me around everywhere. Um, got the trellis put up the other day. Um, did something a little different this year in that I put a wire on the bottom down here instead of a piece of twine. That's because the cats scratched, were scratching the post last year and scratched through that and then came loose and kind of let the whole thing loose. So hoping a wire works better. I actually caught one up here sitting on top of it earlier, scratching at him. So hopefully that's not going to be a problem. But anyway, the way I do this, I don't remember. I don't remember if I explained it before, but this is just two befores. But then I, I just tie a piece here and go down around the wire and then just loop around and around and around um, <clears throat> and try to pull it somewhat tight. And then I tie on here and go across a few times just weaving back and forth and that just kind of holds everything together. So the beans are getting started growing up that now. Uh, this area out in here kind of got destroyed. Uh, moles went through it. And dug it up pretty good and then the dogs went through it digging for the moles so um, couldn't get too mad because they did catch a couple of moles I think um, and the moles have kind of kind of been a problem this year I, I never really have seen them around that much before but I saw saw some mole hills in the winter and now they've been showing up here this this summer so hopefully the dogs will keep after them but anyway uh, this area here is that didn't get that didn't get dug up does have some plants in it like a Swiss chard here. And there's another one there. They've kind of been getting eaten on. Um, I don't know if that's chickens doing that. I have had deer nip uh, Swiss chard before. Not sure they would come up to this plot this close to the house, but they might at night. I I put jugs over some things like this broccoli plant here. I put a jug over it to protect it, but I might need to get some more of those out over some of these plants. Um, got some rows of beans here. Got black-eyed peas and then some different shell beans. They got dug up just a little bit there in the middle um, with the mole runs. I've got some kale plants and cauliflower plants that I picked up at uh, Farm and Home the other day and they were down, they were on sale so um, I might just kind of use them to fill in the empty spots there. Potatoes are doing fine. Kind of curled up a little bit even though I have watered them a couple times. It's just hard to really water things as well as rain does um, and it's been basically dry for close to a month here I think so they're suffering a little bit but I think we're supposed, to get, we're supposed to have a lot of chances of rain over the next week, so hopefully we'll get some. And the asparagus, I don't remember where it's where it was last time I did this, but um, I've, I've stopped picking it now, so it's you know going up into bushes. Okay, this is the south plot, the first time I've filmed it this year. Um, I ran the tiller over this just shallow. It wasn't. It was too dry to dig down anyway. But I just ran ran over the top shallow a couple times just to break the weeds loose and chop them up a little bit. But it, you know, leave them on top for mulch. So that's what the deal is here. You got this one row of onions that wintered over um, down through here. So I'm just leaving them until they mature, and then I'll pick the seeds and then go ahead and and dig up that row. Um, to the left of the onions here is all potatoes. They had potato seed on sale the other day too, so I got 25 pounds of it and planted it up through up through here. Um, couldn't plant it very deep because the ground is hard. Um, so I just kind of busted up in a, a couple inches with the hoe each time. Dropped a potato and kicked some, some loose dirt and mulch over it. 
um, was about all I could do there. Um, I'm probably going to try to bury them in more mulch here once they get once they start growing and do a late potato sort of thing. Um, over here, I've got various vining things like these watermelon that are just coming up. I planted the watermelon direct with seed. And then some of the other things out here are um, squash and cucumbers and zucchini and muskmelon. Not sure which is which because I didn't keep track as I was planting them out. I just brought a planter of stuff out here and spread them out. Um, so I'll be able to tell what they are as they get bigger. But there's another batch of watermelons. But that stuff will all vine and fill up that area. And then got a Swiss chard that I guess survived the winter here. And so it should, if the cat doesn't stomp it down, it should um, go to seed this year. Uh, Swiss chard's a biennial, so if it survives the winter, then it puts on its seed the next, the second year. Um, I've never saved seed from anything like that before because you've got to protect it to get it through the winter. But this one was kind of surrounded by weeds. I guess that's why it was. I guess that's why it survived. So that should be interesting. The big fella here has had a rough few days. Um, Coon got into the chicken house the other night, killed 15 birds, and got a hold of him. And looks like it chewed about half of his comb off. And he lost a lot of feathers too, tail feathers. Um, but he survived, which is pretty impressive. He's he's the oldest rooster and definitely the top dog. But now he seems a little confused because about half of his his harem of hens that travel with him are dead. So he looks a little, he seems a little confused about where they're all at at the moment. But. I thought he might have lost his left eye, but now it's the swelling's gone down and it's he's starting to use it again. Uh, the The younger roosters seemed like they were going to pick on him and knock him off his perch, but uh, I think he's I think he's getting his his position back now that he's healing up. Um, he's he's the oldest and the meanest, so I don't think I don't think they're going to knock him off all that easily. Okay, and in the west garden here, uh, the lettuce is going to seed. Um, I'll, let a, I'll let a few of these go and then just pull the rest of them. Um, there's, there's a lot of them up through there, but you only need a few. The peas that are over here are done. I don't think they're going to produce anything else. So I'll pull all that stuff up except for a few lettuce plants and then plant something else there soon. Uh, the, swish, the sweet corn... Some of it's awfully short, but it seems like it's starting to make ears, so I guess I guess that'll work. Some of it up through there is taller, but down here on this end, I don't know if it didn't get enough fertilizer down here or what, but pretty short stuff. Peas here, probably got some ready to pick. They've been suffering in the heat. They're definitely not a hot weather plant, but there's going to be some peas there. Got the mustard here gonna have a lot of seeds on it that's what all these little pods are that's some borage that came up from seed it itself seeds really well um, so it's all over the place here from from last year I just let a bunch of them come up when I saw them um, let's see got some carrots here a little patch of carrots I just got this stuff weeded maybe a week ago so now it's kind of perking up now that the weeds are out of the way. This stretch of Swiss chard. And then this is, somehow I got broccoli and turnips mixed together here. There's a broccoli, there's a broccoli, there's a broccoli, and then there's turnips. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do there or how, the, how I manage that, but I'm going to have to get some, I'm going to have to get one of them out of the way of the other one. Got some beets here. They didn't come up really well through this stretch because it was old seed, but there's a few of them there. Um, these beans right here are a mix of purple, yellow, and green beans. 
that I picked at the end of the season last year and there were just a few of each so I just mixed them all together and then planted them here together so looks like they're gonna come looks like they're gonna mature at about the same time just mix them together which is good and there's a couple of rows of other beans here I think these just looking at them I'd say these are probably pinto beans because they they kind of seem like they would climb if they had something to climb on they don't need to but they would if they could and then that's probably navy beans over there <coughs> and then this area out here is what's left um, I hit this with the tiller too just to break it up just to break up the weeds um, and I'll have to figure out what gets planted out here maybe some more melons or maybe another patch of sweet corn um, hard to say got to check the check the seed bucket and see what's left in there so I guess that's it for this time so thanks for watching be back with another one of these in a week or two